Hey, so I've been working on this open source presentation for Godot and this presentation system made in Godot for one year. It's completely open source, available to everyone, and I've created a presentation called Power Pitch, a short, roughly five to 10 minute presentation so you can introduce Godot to anyone, anywhere in the world. You can use it to save time as a teacher or as a developer when you'd like to go to a meetup and showcase Godot's capabilities, explain what it is and how people can get started with it. So it's completely open source and more importantly, you can change the language. It's easy to translate now. Right now, it comes built in with English and Japanese. And I'd like your help to make it available in other languages. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to contribute. And note, you just have to translate if you are not comfortable with Git and all. I'll show you how we can make that much simpler for you at the end of the video. But first, let's talk about the translation system. So right now, the languages are hard-coded because there are only two. But as soon as we'll have more contributions, I'm going to add a system to change the language on the presentation on the Power Pitch node here. In the meantime, the translations are in the Power Pitch folder. I have it in my favorites. I don't know if that's stored in the project, but just in case, all presentations should go to content. Then you have Power Pitch. And right here, you have a CSV file that Godot is going to generate these translations files from. But you're not going to want to work with this one. Instead, you want to work with the powerpitch translation.ods file. So it's right next to the CSV file in the folder. You just can't see it in Godot. I'm going to open it in LibreOffice Calc. And here's how the translation system works. It's very simple, very standard as well in games. This project is also interesting if you want to translate your games to learn how translations work in Godot because that's a full implementation. In the top row, you have locales. So these represent a language. You have EN for English, JA for Japanese. And to find the locale you're going to add for your language, go to the project settings, localization, locales filter, and you have to hover the language to get the locale that corresponds to it. So if you hover on Spanish, it gives you ES. If I go down to French, for example, my native language, FR. So to add the translation, you want to add in the top row the locales characters, FR, and then you'll start translating. Although right now the column is a little narrow, so I'm going to change the width to 20 centimeters, for example. And I recommend to copy the entire uh, translations, like the strings in English, for example, and then go to your new column and press Control V to paste them all. You can start translating from there. You can also use machine translation. Feel free to use whatever Google Translate and all to save time at first. And you just want to change the string. So, un moteur libre et gratuit. Uh, moderne et libre. And if my voice is different in French, that's normal. <laughs> okay, so a modern and free game engine. I'm going to save the ODS file, to so save this presentation. And for Godot to recognize the translations, we need to save a copy or to export the CSV file from this. So I'll create a CSV file and replace power pitch. Now you want it to be Unicode UTF-8 encoded with commas as delimiters. Okay. And in Godot, Godot will re-import the CSV file. And now there's a new powerpitch.fr, the translation file for the French language. So then you want to register it in the project. You go to project, project settings and translations. You'll add the file here. I'm going to content powerpitch and translation in French. Okay. And from there, the language is registered in the presentation. So I'm going to hard code the language at the start here. I'll go to the translation server and set the locale to FR at the start of the project of the game. And when I press F5, 
5. I'll go to the second slide where you'll see the title is now in French. The rest is still in English because it's not translated, but this is using the French strings. And you can change the language anytime in Godot and it's going to update in real time on all control nodes. It's going to translate all the slides for you. So that's how you can contribute for your language. So it's fairly easy. You can use any spreadsheet editor. I'm using LibreOffice, but you can use Google Spreadsheets or Office or whatever works for you. Normally, if you go to the online repository, you'd want to do a pull request to submit your changes. But if you are not comfortable with that, if you are not into development, for example, instead, here's what you can do. I can create the commit for you and you will appear in the contributors. I just need you to go to the issues tab, create a new issue, and you're going to say um, translation, for example, French translation. Then I need you to put the translation.ods, the translation file, powerpitch.csv, and to add them to an archive with 7-zip, for example, or WinRAR, you're going to create a zip file because you, you have to create, uh, you have to close the spreadsheet from calc, by the way, uh, in order to properly append it. But let's say we're going to do it this way this time. So I click and drag my zip file on the GitHub issue. The native file CSV and all won't be supported, but it will accept the zip and just write a description of what you did and all. And I'll need on your account on GitHub. So when I go look at your profile, I will need your email address and your name. So if it's not included in there, if you don't have it on your profile, please write it down in the issue. So this way, when I create the commit for you, I will put you as the author. And that is it. That is it. That makes it so everyone can contribute, I think. So um, also, if you plan to work on a translation, please create an issue to let people know that you are going to do it so that they don't start working without communicating and you both do the work, but in the end, I can only merge one, okay? Now, there's also another issue that is going to need continuous work and support. I'd like you to check it out. So if you can take very high quality screenshots, share beautiful projects and pictures of Godot to enhance the presentation and then should be even some open source game dev mini projects uh, that we can do together if you want in the future to enhance again the presentation. But for now, thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.